Okay, folks, so today we're going to be learning about user permissions. Now, this is a typical org that I've set up to be private, which is very restrictive on what the users can and can't do. However, uh, right now we have this standard user that I'm logged in as. And this user can actually create personal groups like this one here, where you can then add users to these groups. And this is good if you work with uh, multiple groups of people. Uh, that you may want to share records with. The next thing is uh, the default teams, like the opportunity team and the account team. Now, if this user tries to add a um, new member to this team, they're limited by their access. So they can only set users to private and they can set uh, read-write access on the account team. If the admin sets it up, it can actually be set up with more access, making it read-write or read-only on both the contact, the opportunity, and the case. And the admin can also set it up to automatically add these to um, your default teams and update your existing uh, teams, teams. And that's particularly good when you add yourself to your own uh, records that you own. We'll find out why. In a so we're gonna take a look at an account now. And in this, we don't have any default teams added. And we're going to go in here and we're going to click on the sharing. And we see we have ourselves in here as uh, full access to the account and private to everything else. And basically that means we can only give the access we have. So we're stuck at uh, the private level. So you remember we created a personal group. And we're going to add the personal group. We're going to click save. And that's going to give um, the other people in the group uh, read write access. Uh, to the accounts and private to the rest of the objects related to the account. Alternatively for this account, we could have added our default team, which is basically going to do the same thing. Again, access limited to um, what we have. Now this next account we're going to look at, remember I said that the admin can add you with more access and automatically add them. So in this case, the user that owns this record that we're logged in as has full access to the um, account, the contact, and the opportunity. It's like, and if you set up your um, default team to automatically add yourself this way, uh, you have the admin do it for you, uh, this actually increases your power. So when we go to add, we now have the read-write options on the opportunities. And same when we click on the sharing button and go to add, uh, again, adding our uh, personal group, we now have more power to give to those users. Both the um, read-write option as well as the uh, read-only option, and the private was the default that we had. So you can imagine if you uh, manage multiple um, teams or you work on multiple teams, uh, now you can control the uh, permissions on a uh, per account uh, level as to who you're adding, whether it be individual users using the default, using the uh, teams to manually add one user at a time. Um, and you can, of course, add uh, one user at a time, uh, as well as personal groups uh, to this. And if your admin has set up uh, public groups, you can also, of course, add those with the same level of permissions now that you've been um, added to your own default team. Okay, thanks for watching.